That was a terrible technical, stupid mistake. It costed the, the company quite a lot of resources, time and money. Yeah. Uh, immunity, my definition of, of immunity, cyber immunity is uh, the system is cyber immune. If hackers must invest more into the attack than possible damage. It means that hackers, they can't do more damage than their own financial investment. Because any hacker's attack, it's wasting time, money, so they have to have something in return. If they have a negative return on investment, the system is cyber immune. Uh, well, actually, the typical attack, uh, professional attacks, uh, they consist of two things. First of all, they use vulnerability and social engineering. Uh, and uh, most of the attacks, they are based on these two, 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 two things. And uh, when we speak about cyber immunity, it's simply not possible. Uh, because uh, the technologies which we use in cyber immune systems, uh, they uh, guarantee very, very low risk of uh, vulnerabilities. And even if it happens, uh, the vulnerable part of the system, they can't affect the rest. Uh, so the difference between immune and not immune uh, systems is that even if you get into the system, you can't get through that. So the parts of the system, they're isolated from each other and the sick part, vulnerable part, it simply can't damage the rest. That's a very good question about uh, humans, which are all the time, it's the uh, weakest part of the security chain. <laughs> uh, yes, uh, that's true, that's a problem, uh, but I believe we can, we can design such a systems uh, which will compensate this risk and uh, to make this human mistakes, human factor, uh, simply not important. Uh, and actually, it's not a, it's not a news. It's not uh, like we need to invent some, invent something. Uh, it was done many times in a different system, not just cyber. In cars, for example, so the cars are getting more and more secure, more secure by design, uh, less chance to people to make mistakes. Uh, so I think that uh, with the cyber system will be the same. Um, make them first of all immune, so it's. Uh, almost zero risk to hack it uh, and to make the tools that people use uh, more smart to stop people from making mistakes. Ah, uh, very good question about supply chain attacks. Yes, it's one of one, the most complicated. Uh, and uh, I'm afraid there is no simple advice. Uh, because uh, what you really need to do to be protected from the supply chain types of the attacks depends on who you are. Uh, if you are a power plant, if you are a bank, if you are a supermarket, uh, your strategy must be different. Uh, the most complicated is, of course, for their big, uh, um, huge enterprises like uh, cars, uh, manufacturers uh, or the critical infrastructure developers. Uh, so they simply need to have some kind of certification for the suppliers. Uh, so the supply, if the company wants to be supplier, so they need to follow the certification process. Uh, and the company must uh, develop such a, such a regulation for the suppliers uh, that it, this regulation will compensate the risks uh, to, be, to make these risks not important. Um, so this is their most strict, I think, uh, scenario. Uh, but for the rest of the companies, it's less, uh, less critical. Uh, so I think there will be less regulation for suppliers. Uh, yes, you're absolutely right that uh, the uh, enterprises, the governments, they spend more and more on cybersecurity. Uh, and I believe that in the future, when we switch 
uh, at least critical infrastructure will switch to cyber immunity, uh, the spending on cyber security will be reduced. So will be more balanced world uh, where the systems uh, don't consume too much to be secure. Yeah, uh, well, you're right, and uh, this is one of the quite a serious issues. Uh, the systems are getting more complicated, more sophisticated, uh, and uh, there are two problems. Uh, first of all, they are more vectors of the possible attacks, so there are more security scenarios with these systems. Uh, and second, they are, the system, they can't have the mistakes themselves. The more complicated any system is, the more risks that there's something wrong inside. It's truth not just about the cyber systems, it's about everything. Mathematical proofs, for example. <laughs> yes, the more complicated is it, the more risk that there's something wrong in there. Uh, so how to do that? How to handle this situation? I think that the cyber immunity uh, is a solution. Uh, because the cyber immunity which we, we develop uh, is based on the microkernel and micro applications uh, architecture. It means that there is not too much complicated parts of that. So every piece has a uh, quite an optimized uh, behavior, optimized structure. Uh, so and uh, these are rules between the different parts of the system to communicate. Uh, so it uh, makes the risk of some internal mistakes not so important. Uh, and to be protected from external threats, uh, so another problem. Uh, the attack. Uh, okay, so we have immunity to guarantee that, okay, so even if some part of the system is affected, it will not damage the rest of the system. Uh, well, speaking about the cyber threats, um, I will say that uh, it's a global problem. Uh, so if we see that from the, so from a top view, uh, the cyber security incidents uh, and the threat landscape is more or less the same everywhere around the world. But uh, you're right, in the regions there are some specific uh, attacks, uh, which, is, uh, which depends on the economical development, uh, which depends on the political situation, which depends on how hot the situation is in the region. Uh, and I will say that uh, in the Middle East, uh, the uh, main uh, vectors of the attacks, they are uh, as everywhere on the financial sector uh, and on the industries. Uh, because, well, especially in the gas and oil industries. Uh, so this is the, one of the most important uh, issues with the cyber security here in the region. Uh, I'm very positively surprised how much attention uh, they pay to cyber development, not just about cyber security, but all this IT and cyber improvement uh, in the region. Uh, I see how uh, much attention, how much, how much they, you do understand about the importance of cyber technologies uh, and the future of cyber. Uh, so this is the reason why I'm so frequent visitor. <laughs> so the, this year, it was, to me, this year was a year of uh, Middle East. Uh, and uh, what's going on, I really respect that and I really support it. And speaking particularly about cybersecurity, of course, I see how much about cybersecurity is spoken here and how much investment is into this area. And uh, this is a very good indicator of uh, that uh, the people who are responsible, the governments which are responsible for uh, the, how to say, design of economies and the security, uh, how much they understand in the cyber security. Uh, and I will do my best uh, to assist them with uh, the plans to make this uh, local economies and the uh, regional economy uh, protected from any kind of cyber attacks. Um, uh, that's a good question, and actually, I will say that uh, we have um, two major uh, challenges on the way. Uh, first of all, um, we were learning how to develop technologies and products, and actually, 
uh, we made a lot of mistakes, of course, in the past, and we're learning. Uh, the some mistakes uh, were quite painful, uh, but we solved that. It, it's about technologies. Uh, and finally, we managed uh, we managed to find to build the system uh, which is able to develop uh, uh, very how to say they're just world best technologies and products. Um, the second challenge uh, was how to build the international business uh, because then we started with a small Russian Russia based startup uh, without any knowledge and experience without e any uh, advisors advisories uh, from from the from outside so we were learning ourselves uh, and actually we were started in early 90s uh, so actually there were no teachers for us um, so we were learning ourselves by ourselves so we were uh, trying different ways uh, and finally we, we managed to survive and that was not easy because in, the, uh, in Russia in 90s uh, there was no such a thing as investment into the IT startups uh, so actually there were just two options die or survive without investment <laughs> uh, actually we survived and uh, that was a challenge that was a major challenge Uh, I learned quite a lot uh, because this quarter uh, was uh, the different life of the company because uh, the last century uh, we were just a startup and uh, beginning of this century millennium uh, we became a visible player on the market we became uh, one of the most known brand and cybersecurity uh, and there was quite a, many things happened um, during the, that time uh, and to me what I'm proud about is that we turned from the we turned from the chicken to the eagle <laughs> so we uh, finally we have uh, experience and we know how to build the world best technologies uh, how to manage their big team of engineers, uh, sales guys, uh, marketing and all that. Uh, we manage how to make their, how to make the business in different countries, different regions, different cultures. Uh, we are a global company with a global presence, uh, again with the best technologies uh, and we are able to protect our customers better than our competitors, that, that's it. Uh, so that's the main things I think that we learned, which we did. Um, well, first of all, I think that for the young entrepreneurs, the main advice is you have to be sure that what you're doing is your life. It's a business of you, from your heart. Uh, if you can live in your business and forget about the rest, that's yours. And then um, find, the, find the right people to help you, build the team, uh, be a leader of the team, work a lot, and don't be afraid of troubles. They will happen, and you have to be strong enough to overcome, to survive, uh, and to make your business, your company, your team even more stronger. Uh, before I was speaking about the technical problems which we were facing and fixing, uh, first of all, I will uh, not repeat these mistakes. 
Uh, one of them that was very simple. In 1998, we made new antivirus engine, new generation of antivirus engine. And by own mistake was to make it not multi-threads. So it was only one, uh, one file was able to be processed at the same time. It was not uh, multi-processed. So it was just one single process. That was a terrible, technical, stupid mistake. And uh, it costed the, the company quite a lot of resources, time and money, um, because it was very hard to fix it, because it was like a, the rest of the system, so the rest of our products, they were built on that. <laughs> that was a simple mistake. Maybe it's not easy to uh, explain it in the simple words, but First of all, I would not do the same mistake. Then uh, there were some other mistakes, most of them were technical. I will not do it again.